I'm really excited. I just put together a trellis for the cucumber plants. Uh, I think we're only going to be planting two um, because they do produce a lot of vegetables. And um, same with the zucchini. I'm only going to be planting two zucchini plants. So hopefully we don't um, bully the other plants out of sun too much. Um, but I'm just going to finish tying some string around the other two um, poles that I put up for the trellis and that should be good as far as trellises go. I'm just gonna stake the peppers and uh, we already have some tomato cages. Um, we might need to make shift another tomato cage just out of some stakes and some string, um, but I think otherwise we should be um, good to go. I'm gonna start um, laying a grid on top of all the beds today and hopefully we can get some stuff in the ground this week. The square foot gardening method is apparently um, a good way, first of all, for beginners to get into gardening and also for making the most out of a small space. So um, hopefully it works out. Um, everything really with this first garden is going to be a learning experience. Um, so if we get a few vegetables at the end of the year, it'll be worth it and um, we can take what we learned this year and apply it to next year and hopefully get some more stuff. Did it? Yeah. We got more stuff done around the house too, so you know maybe it hasn't been so bad. Turn the water into wine and walk upon the sea of Galilee. I'm gonna finish the door to the fence. I'm just using some uh, boards of cedar that I milled from a log and uh, getting that finished off now. Uh, my screw gun died, so uh, I gotta go actually uh, rip another couple of pieces of lumber and Tori's gonna start the planting. I have some veggies starting to grow inside. Um, so hopefully we can transfer them out here because this week is supposed to be really nice. 
um, lots of sun and um, I think they're ready to go in the ground. It feels good. Planting time is like the time when it all matters and everything kind of comes down to that. And I could see it as being uh, uh, definitely a, a moment that kind of just like has meaning. At least it does to me. Uh, the more I get into sort of a kind of home gardening for, you know, more self-sufficiency and just as a hobby, the more I realize what an integral role it played in uh, the life cycles of our ancestors and native people of North America. And it's really been uh, such an important thing for about the last 10,000 years for um, quite a, a lot of human beings on this planet and it's something we take for granted today so um yeah my my first uh, uh real effort at a real vegetable garden and uh, i definitely feel like this planting time is kind of like a special moment what do you think tori does that make sense to you she agrees so tori's basically leading the charge on this because i gotta rip some boards with the table saw up top but uh yeah and i think uh you know growing your own food for long-term wilderness living is something that kind of gets left out of the whole kind of survival realm when we talk about survival that's always sort of short term get yourself out uh, but as ted and i learn on alone um, surviving a very long time and what uh you know what edible food is there and how long you can actually sustain off of that is something that uh, a lot of us are a little uh you know wrong about a lot of us think we can live off of some of these survival foods and we just can't long term and um it kind of made me realize that you know if you're really gonna go and and actually try to live in a sort of a long-term wilderness living or survival scenario that knowing how to garden would be a very key thing uh, in survival but it's often kind of looked at as more of a homesteading or more of a uh, you know just a hobby thing but I think it definitely should have more of a place um, in the survival world and it also definitely grounds you and really puts you in touch with the earth with nature where your foods coming from and you learn so much more about the symbiosis of plants and how that also exists in the forest around you and you feed yourself at the same time so it's already start, begun to have like a, a, a deeper meaning to me which I think is one of the probably most interesting things or the most interesting thing I've learned from this experience time to go make a door Solid. Nice and light too because it's cedar.
Good enough. Working till late in the evening. I uh, took a bit of a break to do some other things and uh, then after we got the stuff planted we thought I don't know if we want to risk it and we got more to plant for sure but uh, you know there's a lot of bunnies around here tons of raccoons deer you name it so uh, we came out and uh, we worked late and we banged off this chicken wire kind of just teamed up and got her done it was challenging because we finally found chicken wire but the only kind we could get was different widths so it made uh, a few difficulties for sure but uh, we're kind of compensating it looks like we're getting it figured out and uh, should definitely make our veggies safer tonight we're gonna have to do a little bit of wiring uh, put some stakes in the ground just to, to pin it down around the bottom but uh, uh, we can do that tomorrow and we're safe that nothing's gonna come and uh, help themselves as a little uh, bunny buffet tonight so that's great it's looking good though I'm feeling good about it Not bad for eyeballing it with a handsaw. Pretty damn good. wire them all shut we'll like sew them together basically mm -hmm. but for now we go inside and eat dinner all right shall I shut the gate mm-hmm Looks good. Doesn't it look so good? Looks so awesome. Yeah, the chicken wire is pretty thin. It doesn't really make it look too trashy, but you know, it's not supposed to look, it's supposed to be functional, right? But I think it kind of looks rustic and cool, you know? It looks wicked. Yeah. All right, let's go in. All right. 